This is all she wanted. Put the cat down, nobody gets hurt. You're under arrest for being too darn cute. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Uh, I know I'm looking a mess. My hair was down today. I looked a little bit nicer, but it's so hot here today and I'm not complaining because I love the Texas heat. But all I'm saying is it's so hot here today. I had to throw this hair up in a bun because my hair just wasn't having it. My hair was complaining. But anyway, so in today's video, I'm going to be doing a quick grocery haul. I'm gonna show you everything I bought just now. And then the next part of the video, I'm gonna be sharing a recipe with you. We are going to be making gypsy egg rolls. So let's get started on the grocery haul first. All right, so here's a quick overview. Everything I got here today is from HEB. So I'm gonna start over here. We got a pack of pork chops. These are thin pork chops with the bone in. We got some Tabasco sauce. We got some chicken breast tenders. We got two bags of shredded cabbage. That's gonna go in the egg rolls. We got some frozen strawberries. We got some of this uh, ravioli. It's so good. Alan loves this one. I guess it's only at HEB. Sorry, y'all, but it's so good. It's got mozzarella, basil, and heirloom tomatoes. Alan wanted me to tell y'all that y'all need to try this creamy chicken flavor. He said it's the best. He specifically asked me to shout out the creamy chicken flavor and tell y'all that it's so good and you need to try it. So there you go. That is a message from Alan. You better listen. Next up, we've got some ginger. We've got some sweet and sour sauce, some chicken stock, some butter. We got some rotisserie seasoned chicken breast. We've got some lemons. Oh, really, girl? Girl. We got some limes, honey, and some lemons. We got some lettuce, tomato, green onion. We got some of these egg roll slash spring roll wrappers. We got two bags of potato chips and one bag of baked potato crisp. Another quick tip from Alan is he loves to eat potato chips with Tabasco. So he lays the potato chips out on a plate, puts that Tabasco all over the chips perfectly, mind you. And yeah, it's delicious. So you should try that. All right, also got some eggs, got some orange juice, some lactose-free milk, and we also got some blueberry muffins, which Alan got because he wanted a blueberry muffin, but I already know that I'm gonna be the only one eating all of these all at once, okay, in one sitting. But yeah, so that's my grocery haul. Just wanted to share it with you really quick. I'm gonna put all my stuff away and then we'll get started on the egg rolls. Okay, so before I get started, can someone remind me not to film with a ponytail straight forward? Cool. Not that this looks any better, but it's a little bit better. Anyway, before I get started making the egg rolls, I wanna show you everything that goes into the egg rolls. So you're gonna need some chicken. You're going to need some egg roll wraps. Shredded cabbage some squeezed ginger or fresh ginger, whatever. Soy sauce, garlic powder, onion powder, pepper, and some salt. I'll have to cut the salt, be right back. Here she is, so let's get started. So the first thing I'm gonna do is lay my chicken out on a plate, which I've already done actually, and now I'm just gonna season my chicken. So. You could actually cut your chicken up beforehand, but I don't think I'm gonna do that. I think I'm gonna go ahead and cook my chicken first and then I'm gonna cut it up. That would just be easier for me. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and season all of this chicken with some salt first. I'm gonna do some garlic powder. Ooh, that's a lot, but that's okay, girl. Onion powder. That's a lot too. And some pepper, and then we're gonna flip these babies over and do the same thing on the other side. Maybe not as much this time, but yeah, same thing. So now in my little frying pan here, I'm gonna put some olive oil and we're gonna start cooking the chicken and I need to put this away, don't mind me. Let's turn on the heat. Get some olive oil in this pan and that's gonna be the first step is cooking the chicken. Okay, now that my pan and my oil is heating up nicely. I'm gonna go ahead and throw these chickens in there and then I'm gonna cook them till they're done. But I will show you that process in just a minute. I'm just flopping them in there now and I'm gonna let them cook for a little bit 
on this side, then we'll flip them. And I'm probably gonna cut them in half so they'll cook a little faster. But yeah, I'll show you guys that in a second. One thing I forgot to mention about these is you're gonna need an egg to um, put it on the egg roll thing so you can roll it up and it'll stick. So don't forget your egg. Okay, so I've been watching my chicken and usually when I see like the white on the edge like that, you can see it start like cooking through. That's when I'm gonna flip it. So if you lift it up, check it out. Looks like it's cooking, you're good to go. So I'm gonna flip this, I'm gonna cook it for a few minutes and then I'm gonna cut it in half and then we'll start um, dicing it up in small chunks for the egg rolls. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and cut the chicken in half. It'll cook faster, so always remember that if you're in a rush, smaller things cook faster. So yeah, I'm actually not gonna be using a knife or anything. I never do, really, unless I'm cutting up vegetables and stuff. I'm just gonna be using the kitchen scissors um, to dice up this chicken. It's literally the easiest way to cut meat, and to be honest with you, I've even cut my Thanksgiving turkey with the kitchen scissors. It's a game changer, y'all. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and start cutting up the chicken. And pretty much all I'm going to do is pick up a piece. I'm gonna cut it about like that. Boop. And then I'm just gonna take my scissors and cut it up in small chunks. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and add this bag in. Um, and if I need to add more, I'll add more from the other bag. But this is an eight ounce bag. I'm actually just gonna kind of sprinkle it. And then I'm gonna stir this little mixture around here, add a little more. So I'm actually just gonna go ahead and add in this whole bag. Mix it all together, and then we're gonna start adding some other goodies. So I'm actually gonna let this cook for a few minutes and then I'm gonna add in the other stuff. So I'll keep you updated here. So you guys know that I don't really measure stuff. I have a problem with that. So I'm just gonna give you guys a visualization of how much of this ginger I'm gonna be using. So this is squeezed ginger and I'm just gonna go ahead and squeeze some in. All right, so I did quite a few squeezes there. It'll probably equal up about maybe two tablespoons, three tablespoons. Not sure, don't take my word for it. But anyway, so I'm just gonna go ahead and mix this together and then I'm gonna also add in some soy sauce. Alan has requested a little bit more ginger for good luck. Boop. Actually, what I'm gonna do is add some soy sauce. I'm gonna keep mixing and then I'm gonna go ahead and taste it, maybe add some more seasonings and I'm just gonna taste as I go. And um, yeah. So I just put a couple splashes of soy sauce in there, but I am gonna add a little bit more. I'm just gonna let this cook for a few minutes before I taste it. Gonna season it a little bit. Some salt and pepper there. A little onion, a little garlic, a little more soy sauce. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit more soy sauce. Mixy, mixy, and then we're gonna start rolling up our egg rolls. I just cooked this till the cabinet and stuff was like softened or whatever. And that's all you gotta do. All right, so I'm gonna be um, rolling these out on this baking sheet. I actually put two of the sheets of the egg roll down. I've got the egg ready. This is just an egg cracked in a bowl. Mix it up. All right, 
I'm gonna be painting that on with this little brush and here's the mixture. Alan's actually gonna be helping me. He's gonna spoon that in for me and roll it up. Teamwork. All right, so what you're gonna do is load up in the center your egg roll mixture. It's gonna look like that. And it helps if you have two spoons. So that way you can actually just press it in. Make sure it's packed in nice and tight on the center of the egg, uh, the egg roll sheet wrap. Once you have it rounded up in the center like that and packed in, that's what it should look like there. You just take the corner, pull it around until you cover the mixture and then you are going to tuck in underneath the mixture, the edge of the egg uh, sheet. So it'll look like that. And now every, anything that doesn't have uh, the mixture on it, the parts that are going to be folded as well as the part that's going to cover over and uh, wrap around the other side of the egg roll is going to be covered in egg wash with this brush. You just dab your brush, let it drizzle, and then start just basting on the, uh, the egg wash on the parts that are not covered, or that are uncovered, so that way when you cover them and wrap them, they will stick. So now, as you can see, I covered these two edges, flaps in egg wash, and also this flap here that's going to wrap the body of the egg roll. So what you're gonna do is now just pull it over, cover this part here, press the seal. It's really simple, once the egg wash is applied, it sticks pretty well. Then you're going to fold each flap over on the egg roll to close it. And I'll show you what this perfectly sealed egg roll looks like in a second. And here it is. All right, so Alan just finished doing all of these for me. He's such a sweetheart, helping me out. He rolled all these little egg rolls. That's a good man, y'all. Okay, so now that these are done, I'm gonna get a, a different pan because I don't feel like washing that to use it. All right, I'm gonna get a different pan. I'm gonna put um, some vegetable oil in it. I'll show you that. And then we're gonna heat that up. And when it gets hot, we're gonna throw these babies in. All right, y'all, so I got the vegetable oil in the pan. You can see about how much I have in there. We're gonna let this heat up, and when it's done heating up, we're gonna put the egg rolls in there, and I'm gonna do two at a time. 
All right, so the vegetable oil is heated up. I use the water method. If you don't know what that is, I just splash some water in and it started going boom. So yeah, that's how you know it is hot and ready. I'm gonna be using my bent up broken tongs. Boing, boing. Is that what they're called, tongs? Yeah. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and drop in the first one. Ooh. I'm gonna heat up a little bit. And I'm actually gonna put in the second one now. Be careful, don't burn yourself. All right, so I'm gonna cook this until it starts to like get a golden brown on one side, like a light golden brown. And then I'm gonna flip it, and I'm gonna continue to flip it till it's golden brown all the way around. All right, so I'm actually gonna set my timer for a minute and 30 seconds, and I'm just gonna watch my clock, watch my egg roll, see how it's doing. Hi, are y'all with me? Okay, good. Oh my God, my battery's dying, that sucks, but yeah. Might have to charge my battery while this is cooking. So I'm gonna let this cook for a few minutes while I charge my battery, but know that I'm going to be flipping them when it turns golden brown. All right, so I took the first two out. This is what they are looking like. Um, so I put two more in. I'm gonna go ahead and flip them. Looking good, y'all, looking good. And in the meantime, while those are cooking, I'm gonna go ahead and get these two little bowls ready. So I love my egg rolls with sweet and sour sauce. Alan doesn't so much. So I'm gonna be putting this in my bowl and some soy sauce in Alan's bowl. And also don't forget to put your egg rolls on a paper towel so it can soak up some of that oil. So this is what the egg rolls look like. They're all finished. Got the soy sauce, got the sweet and sour sauce, and we're about to dig in. Today, y'all. I'm having some issues with my hair. Ooh, they're all still so warm. But I'm gonna go for one of the first ones that we made so it's not like burning my mouth. So, should I take one big bite or should I cut it in half? Cut it in half and That's what I was thinking. Mm-hmm. 
That was okay, but it just changed the whole flavor. Mm -hmm. Gave us some sweetness. I like the soy. That was a good bite in this stuff, y'all. Yeah. And it's hot still. Those were mecca stuff, huh? Mm-hmm. Imagine if you went to a Chinese restaurant and they gave you this. Mm-hmm. I'd be happy. Yeah. When you get them at a, a Chinese restaurant, they're like really, really tiny. Mm. You don't get And this is super stuffed. It's like big, thick, you know. Sure you don't want more sweet and sour sauce? No. Mm. All right, anyway. We're gonna go ahead and finish eating. This is so good, you guys have to try it. Mm. <laughs> See? I told you. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Ah. If you like my content, subscribe to my channel. Leave us some comments down below. We would love to hear from you. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye. Say bye. Bye. Alan didn't want to tell you a bye. It was hot in my mouth. You're a liar. It's hot. This one's piping hot. You see the steam coming off of it. He's a liar. Piping. Mmm. He likes it. Alright, so this is the mess that I'm left with. I'm gonna go ahead and clean the kitchen. I wanted to show you guys that we literally ate all of the egg rolls except this half of one, and we are seriously stuffed. So my battery ended up dying on my camera, so I didn't film the cleanup part, but I just wanted to show you guys the kitchen is all clean, all is well. I am stuffed and I'm tired. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and end this video, but I hope y'all enjoyed it and I'll see you next time.